What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Shin Nazuki, a brand new hero collector that just came out a few days ago. So if you do want to download this title, it is now globally available and ready to go. Now, what about this game sets itself apart from all of the other hero collectors that we cover on this channel? Is there anything in this game to make you quit your current game or maybe even add this game in your current rotation? Well, my friends, I think there is no better place to start than the heroes that you can collect. Collect. So, as you guys can see, it is anime style, mostly waifus, um, but there are a few guys that you can collect as well. Um, we'll take a look at a couple of these because I know we have been very waifu focused on this channel lately. Um, so, here's a few guys. Um, there you go. There's a few of them. But as you guys can plainly see, this is mostly a waifu collector. You know, your typical fantasy and elves. Um, there are a few futuristic characters like Moni here. She uses a Gatling gun with these cat ear head phone so that's kind of cool there um, but this this is what the characters look like here and there's also um, a collaboration going on as well um, I am not familiar with this IP but I thought I'd mention hey collaboration there you go so um, as far as the heroes that you can collect this game does get the FG hero collecting stamp of approval whatever that is worth so um, there you have it so let's take a look at my current roster here now, as you can see, um, the game can switch between the 2D art as well as the 3D art here. Not exactly cutting edge graphics, but I think they get the job done. They're nice and detailed, they're nice and clean. I have no issues with the 3D graphics at all. So that is that character there. There's Faye. Um, animations are really nice as well. Give you a preview here. Very awesome. And one really neat thing that I have not seen a hero collector do ever is that you can actually do two different things here. So just like most games, you can buy different skins. So nothing too crazy there. Um, but you can also mix and match the parts from those skins. So if you want to do a different hairstyle here, mix with a different face, mix with a different top, mix with a different weapon, you can absolutely do that and create basically your own custom skin. So I like this. I want to see more games do this. You know, if a game has 3D models, there's absolutely no excuse why they can't do this. So um, very, very neat. And all of the characters have these options as well. So um, let's go to the main character who has, he has some interesting sets. So throw a mechanic hat on him with a crazy face, a maid outfit, <laughs> along with, uh, uh, there you go. You can do this if this is what you want. So very cool. I've never seen a game do this. I could be wrong, um, but this might be the only game on mobile that allows you to just kind of mix and match outfits to this degree on all characters. So very, very cool. Give you a few more pre preview. Oh, she only has one weapons. I take it back. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty cool. So overall, when it comes to the heroes that you can collect, the graphics, the art style, so far the game is doing pretty well um, in my book. So let's jump over to combat and I'll show you more about Shin Nazuki. We're going to do this stage here just to make sure that I don't die and get embarrassed on video. Here, oh, that's the same character. I was like, oh, is this another character with like a futuristic weapon so as you can see this is a grid based rpg and i'm just going to go ahead and take my characters out just to kind of show you the flow of combat here um so you can set up your initial characters anywhere you want um, along along this grid here so if i want to put my tank right here um put a little bit of a heal behind him range character in the back along with another melee character right here i can do that i can mix them around and depending on what you're going against you might want to kind of adjust your lineup um, in addition to that this game does use an elemental system um, so red beats green green beats yellow yellow beats blue and blue beats red so you know your typical elemental system there so we'll go ahead and begin our attack and i'll show you the grid-based combat system. So it's not gonna be as in-depth as like a console version of a strategy RPG. As you can see, there's no ele uh, elevation at all. So you can't attack from higher or lower. Um, the extent to which the grid kind of impacts combat is of course being in melee range to hit things in melee, being range, attacking things from the back to do additional damage. Um, some stages actually you can be knocked off on. So let's say you're fighting on the top of a mountain. A character can actually push you off the mountain and kill you instantly but as far as you know really in-depth strategy grid based you know tactics this game is not going to be that title um the autoplay does a decent job of kind of traversing the terrain as well um if you want to get three stars on some stages you're gonna have to manually play but for the most part the autoplay actually does a pretty good job um but 
do not dismay my friends um there is a live pvp mode in this game so if you're kind of put off by the autoplay in the pve the pvp will kind of save you from that because it is live pvp and you absolutely would not want to play live pvp on auto in my opinion so that is that um as far as the combat is concerned as you can see pretty straightforward we have an hp bar here we also have an ultimate meter um so we should see an ultimate here shortly maybe even two let's give it a second here Main character, here's his ultimate. Ah, uh, he went up there and defended. Let me let me make sure that we do ultimates here. <laughs> Gotta make sure we do some ultimates. Alright, so here's an ultimate. That's the healing ultimate. The most... <laughs> the lamest ultimate that I can possibly show was the main healing ultimate. Here we go. There you go. And then I think I can do one more. Hers is really cool. Gets a bunch of, like, her gun swords to shoot at people. So that's what combat looks like. Um, overall, I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't think the grid system adds too much to the game. I think it could have gotten away with just being a basic turn-based RPG or something like that. But, hey, to each its own. And like I said, it might be uh, much more impactful in live PvP. So do keep that in mind. So that is combat in Shindizuki. Let's go back out to the home screen so I can show you more about the modes that are currently in the title. Um, so that's your adventure mode. The adventure mode is uh, separated between a normal mode as well as a hard mode. Pretty straightforward. Kind of your typical hero collector there. Um, there is a trial center here, which is kind of your daily uh, material grind. So you can grind for treasure, EXP, gear. Um, there is a multiplayer a live multiplayer which we're going to try to do in this video um, we have time trials as well and then we also have this new i think this is about to launch in the next patch they've already started talking about it so i'm not sure if it's supposed to be spelled that way but you know what i'll give them the benefit of the doubt um, we're actually going to jump into some of this live co-op as well um, so I love games that do co-op, especially live co-op. Um, not every game, when it comes to hero collectors, it's really easy to kind of focus on PvP, where all the whales get to kind of beat up on everyone. But here, I love when games do co-op multiplayer because it allows the whales to help, help everyone else. Everyone kind of benefits from the characters that you bring. So we'll go ahead and hit attack and get ready. And as you can see, we've got three groups of people. And this is the type of multiplayer that I like. Being able to see all of your teammates. You have the boss in the center. This is multiplayer done right. This is this is exactly the way I want to see it. Um, I just keep it on auto for the most part. Um, because chances are there's going to be someone here that's going to be able to kind of carry you. Um, so we have this level 22. He should be able to pull it off. Let's kind of move the camera around here. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> so there you have it. We'll be running through this guy quite easily. Down he goes. GG. And as you level up, you can do harder encounters. Um, the game will just continually auto queue you in this mode if you want. Um, so this is a really good way of kind of burning out stamina and helping other people. Um, because you get loot at the end. As you can see, there's fragments available. Gold. You get a ton of EXP to level up your squad. So this is something that you would definitely want to do if you want to just kind of grind up or if you don't really have time to play and you just want to kind of idle in the background, um, just jump into the live co-op multiplayer. So that is that. Um, so a lot of your gameplay will kind of take place in this trial screen. Um, of course, there is a guild system as well. Um, guilds, as far as I can tell, um, there's a tech system. So um, the more you donate to your guild, the more uh, resources and a uh, the more buffs that you can unlock for your guild, so you can you know unlock additional HP, attack, things of that nature. There, of course, is a guild store. Um, there is a wishing house. So if you're looking for specific fragments for a certain character, you can ask your guild to donate those to you. Um, there is a guild trial, and I can't show you at the moment, um, but I do kind of like this mode because it, it speaks to the laziness to me. So basically, all this is is just a, a DPS trial run. You're just trying to do as much damage to the boss as you possibly can before you die, uh, but you can skip it so you can just queue up for it and hit skip immediately and it just automatically just tallies your damage for you i like it you know some of these games it's a it's a fine line between having a lot of content and then feeling like a chore so doing like a guild 
boss to me sometimes feels very chore like because you really can't impact the battle too much you're just trying to do as much damage as you possibly can before you die um so being able to just to skip the battle and just tally the damage i kind of appreciate so um that is that um so that is that so we talked about adventure mode we talked about trial um we talked about the guild system um the last thing that we're going to cover in this video is the arena system um so there are three different arena systems or actually four practice which i'm not going to bother with but you can invite your friends and fight them in real time this mode which i do not have unlocked the star ladder which is what i was talking about talking about earlier this is the live pvp so you're going against other characters cross server um to engage in who is the best um, and then, of course, you have your typical arena PvP, which is you versus the AI, um, which is kind of your standard fare here. You can do this on auto if you want to. Um, I'm going to do it. So we'll go in here really quick and show you the PvP. Pretty, pretty straightforward. You only have three people set up here, buddy. You are done. <laughs> this is one of those players that kind of probably played the game um, and either quit for the day or didn't like the game and uninstalled and never set up his full roster of people. I will take full advantage of that. Thank you very much. But yeah, so that is pretty much Shin Nozuki in a nutshell. I think I have a summoning ticket. So we're going to do a quick summon here and we'll talk about the new server events. And uh, that will be it. Um, as far as do I plan on playing this game, I think I actually will, believe it or not. Um, I have time for one more hero collector. I can squeeze in one more hero collector into my rotation. Um, so I think I will play this game for a little while to kind of see what else unlocks and some more of the other characters here. So, um, yeah, Shinazuki looks pretty good. So down you go. G to the G. Victory. Get yourself some arena tokens. You also get some PvE stamina, which is nice. She looks very cool. Hello. <laughs> she looks cool, too. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty pretty okay with the, uh, the art style and the 3D graphics here, for sure. Um, looks like there are some characters that if you bring them to uh, PvP, you actually get more bonus points. So that's cool as well. Wow. The art on this... I, I can't show you what I'm looking at. All right, so um, so that is that. Uh, I think I have, yeah, I have one summoning ticket. One summoning ticket. Let's see if we get anything awesome here. I'll show you what the summoning animation looks like. Got ourselves a rare character straight out of Harry Potter who I already have. Cool animations though. Uses a single dad. Oh, that's a guy. I think that's a guy. I can't tell. <laughs> so um, that's what the summoning animation looks like. Um, since the game just started, um, there is a free SR character on your second day of playing. Um, so I will be able to have that in 11 hours. So that's pretty cool there. Um, what else is going on? There is costumes that you can unlock um, for free. Um, what else is going on? There's like summoning rebates happening. There's all kinds of different um, events going on. As typical for a game that just launched, there's all kinds of events to kind of get you started, to get you going through the content as fast as possible. Um, in addition to that, there is a seven day server. And this character, like I said, is for free. All you have to do is make sure you log in for seven days, do all of the uh, requirements for it, and you will get her for free. As you can see, I did day one rather easily, so um, shouldn't be too much of an issue to get all seven days to get all of these rewards and get yourself a free SSR character. So that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Shin Nozuki. Like I said, this game just came out. I will be spending a little bit more time in this title. Um, so as I discover interesting things to show you, I will bring you more videos on the game. Until then, my name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video. What's going on over here? Nothing? Nothing over here? <laughs> see you guys next video. Later.